welcome to, <coughs> excuse me, WRPB and WRB Studios. And I'm stealing time from the pretty lady next to me because this is really about her show, which is about to launch. And everything happens for a reason, and it's so funny because the first time she was in was totally about something different, even though she's been a realtor for so long. But even her show is not really going to be based on real estate. With me is Lori Laramie. Yes. Is that I, right? Yes, that okay. is right. All right. So two things happen here. One is I get to sit next to a pretty woman. And second is the negative part, which is she's better looking than me. <laughs> okay. So we were, when you came in, we did an interview about something, a business you were working on and stuff like that. But now... Even though I'm interviewing you, it really is about the future of you and your new product, which is going to be your new show. Yes. All right. So, first of all, what's the name of your new show going to be? The new show is called The Nosy Neighbor. All right. What's it about? Okay. So, I had started this on Facebook a while ago, um, and I things happened in the world, and I stopped doing it because I was going into businesses, and I was interviewing some local businesses because I was trying to bring the community um, to us for people who didn't know different places that were available restaurants you know because our relationship and especially what I do real estate is based on referrals referrals people letting you know oh, I had a great experience or oh, I didn't know that place existed so I was trying to go out into the community and bring that information to the public and the re having a referral base is such a warm customer base and that's basically been my main focus right now well you took people from <clears throat> being cold connections to being warm connections correct and that which sometimes grows into hot connections that they do business together you know I've reviewed hundreds of restaurants and thousands of entertainment venues and like you I believe that the best way to do business and I don't care what business you're in, is to connect people. Exactly. And you might connect someone today, but that person might not work with you specifically until a year or two down the road. Right. And you give back. And I, look, I've been giving back forever, even when I couldn't afford to give back. But I believed that it was my mission to do that. I used to, do a sh I used to have someone do a show. And she was called Dorit the Connector. She had passed away. Oh, sorry. So what I did was I invited the people that knew her to do 15 seconds about her. Oh, my God. I was inundated with people because she connected so many people. And it melts your heart to see somebody who gave all this. Right. <clears throat> and she didn't do, maybe not do business with these people, but they did business with one another. It was It was wonderful. You're in real estate, so referrals and connections are so, so important to you. They are, and you never know who is in need of what or that person I'm trying to connect. You know, it could not, maybe it's not one person that's watching, but another person that's watching that didn't know or needs that information, whether, you know, especially in the local community where they don't have to go out so far. There's so much right here that we don't know about that I would love to connect. Okay, so... <clears throat> Let's look at this as a hub. Where's your hub going to be? Like the hub of where you can, where you're dealing with people. Are they going to be in a specific area? Uh, are you going to be just all over? I think what's going to happen is I'd like to start on the Treasure Coast, and then as things start to progress, is to move to different areas, maybe a little bit south, or who knows? You know, I'm going on vacation, so I may <laughs> want to spotlight somewhere I'm going. I don't know. Where did you come up with the nosy neighbor? I went back and forth with this so much because I had such a great response to the nosy neighbor, but there was one person that had said, well, that's a kind of negative connotation. I'm like, well, it doesn't have to be, you know, like, oh, you're nosy. <laughs> but I just thought it was fun. I thought about um, Carmen San Diego. Right. So that's kind of where that whole concept came up. And I kind of went with it and I'm sticking to it. Well, I got to tell you, I've been in this industry many, many years. And anything that makes someone think, whether it be positive or negative, is going to get people to watch. You have to understand that you take someone like Howard Stern, 
a majority of his listeners and viewers hate him. Yeah. And they can't wait to see what they he's going to say. Yes, exactly. They can't stop. So, I'm hoping that's not the case here, but <laughs> <laughs> but if it is, he's still got all those views to work exactly, on. So right? it, it's like perfect. You know, look, I'm doing this a long time, and we were just talking off the air about somebody that I'm working with that I didn't think liked me per se, but I kind of got back in good graces because I'm going to help them. Right. And they didn't know me to be that kind of person. They didn't know that. Oh my God, Wayne's really going to do that for me for nothing? There's no alternative. No, it is what that's who that's what's in, embedded in me. Okay, I, that's who I am, and most people have no clue who I am and what I do and how I do it. And that's okay too because I don't need to be friends with everybody. Right. Okay, but I I get pride out of seeing people succeed. I do too. Okay, and I always go well. If, Someone's here and their friend is here. They can't wait to help them succeed to here. Not to here, not to here, to here. They don't want them to be better than them or at their point. And I don't have that because everybody, like, you're starting a new show on WRPB. So you're like a kid, part of the family, like one of our kids. Yeah. <laughs> to watch you grow and make this blossom. Exactly. You know, which is really kind of cool. Okay, so your plan is to, just like the nosy neighbor was, you're going to go into different businesses and stuff? Yeah, I want to bring it into studio, but we'll see how things progress in, you know, the coming year or so, and then maybe do on location different places. I was doing that before right. um, with just a cell phone. You welcome to the world of technology and people thinking that cell phones can film documentaries and movies, but yeah, that's a whole other story. I didn't want to get into that part of it. <laughs> well, but that's where it all started. And I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. I need to do something. If I'm going to do it, really step out of my comfort zone. I used to do a lot of video. I kind of stopped that, but here I, I am back um, doing this and doing what I love because I do love my community and there's so many things that I just want to share and other realtors I'm going to have on there because I'm learning that there's realtors, again, like myself, that are also doing other things that we don't know about. Right. So. Okay, so is there a focus on, like, business? His Brian is coming in, and you're going to interview Brian. <laughs> I am. Um, is there a focus on a, a certain um, industry that you want to focus on? Or, like, for me, I went to entertainment, which would include food, theater, um, amusement parks, and stuff like that. Is there something like that you're going to focus on, or are you just going to open the door? I'm opening the door, you okay. know, and, and see where it leads me. I just don't know if I, I don't really at this point want to exclude anybody because right. there's so many things that are being offered, again, to everybody. So we'll see how that plays out, but I'm opening the door to, to everyone and, and whoever wants to, you know, promote, or if they know of somebody who wants to, just reach out to me. Okay, so we're going to probably launch your show mid-February. Yes. And you're going to post more information about it on your Facebook, as I we will, will on WRPB. Yes. How, you have a Facebook page? I do. For the nosy neighbor? <laughs> I do. Okay, what is it? <laughs> it's actually the nosy neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> original. <laughs> It is. It's yours. <laughs> yes. Everybody, check out The Nosy Neighbor. Lori, I want to thank you for coming on. Thank you so much, Wayne. I can't wait for you to interview Brian because that should be another experience that yes. I haven't experienced yet. <laughs> Everybody have a great day. We'll be right back. Thanks.